Hey everyone, it's Matt. We're down here at the job and as you can see I'm working on the corbels and we've laced in the rest of the hardwood floor in the kitchen area. We've just got to set the flooring in the refrigerator space and in the dishwasher over there and we're done. And you can see I brought down my weights to put on the floor because when you lace it in you have to cut off uh, one of the lips so you can uh, put the new flooring down against the existing floor. It's a little bit of a challenge, but taking it up was hard. Putting it down isn't much easier. But we've got a little bit left to do here in the living room. We've got that to do. And then over here at the entry door, we've got that to do. Meanwhile, what I've been working on the hardwood floor, I've been getting the wainscoting put up. I've got a guy coming to help me a little bit tomorrow on it so he can see what I'm doing and he can go in and install the moldings. This is our custom made cap. It's a three piece molding and then a two piece molding here with a panel. And there'll be another half inch piece, cove piece that goes around that. And this is our custom made baseboard. And I believe it's a five piece, including the cap. Little flutes in it. And this is one of our standard bases that we're gonna put in our display. So when you go into the showroom and see our molding display, this will be a standard base that you could order for your home. So, <clears throat> we're going to get back at it here. Just want to show you the door casing real quick. This is one that I made, and this is going to be in the hallway doors and in the entryway here. There are little columns with a recessed panel in it, and then a, like a plinth block look at the bottom. And I made it deep enough to receive the cap and the base, so it just butts into it, and it just looks a lot better. It's just standing there right now, freely, not attached. So I'm gonna get back to work and uh, we'll see you guys later.